The early Elite Dangerous game is filled with difficult decisions. Which career to focus on, what ship to use, and how to fit that ship are all issues for consideration. What all these roles share in common is the need to manage costs, locate essential gear, and maintain the minimum rebuy value of whatever ship you choose to fly. There are, actually, a lot of permanent discounts available for commanders willing to chase them, some tied to static locations, others based on simulation conditions. For those interested in the fine details, you can see the full list of relevant discounts here on the ED wiki. Thankfully, it's not necessary to memorize any of this, as there are external tools that can track it for you and display relevant discount locations for the parts you are seeking. Inara is my tool of choice, though others exist that can do something similar. If you don't have an account, consider getting one going, since it allows you to better organize and track in-game progress. It's a great planning utility that can help you set goals and prioritize tasks, since building a ship can be quite the adventure in the early game. To track components or hulls from the Inara homepage, select the Data tab, and then select Outfitting Search. The topmost entry box on this page is a search box that will allow multiple items to be searched simultaneously, and will only display stations that have all the items entered. The Near Star System box is also a search box that sets the center point for search items listed above. By default, Inara will sort searches displayed based on distance from Sol, so be sure to enter your current system location for the most relevant data. The Max Station Distance filter eliminates stations farther than the listed distance from the system's primary star, preventing wasted time flying out to distant binaries or far orbit stations that could take a long time to reach from within the system. This is more important for players who don't have a fleet carrier, since carriers can drop directly on planetary bodies in a system. The minimum landing pad box filters out stations based on landing pad size. This should be set to match the size of ship you are currently flying, and will omit search results that do not have landing pads for your ship. Small and medium ships can generally land anywhere but large ships should always select the appropriate filtering, since there are a lot of outposts that cannot accept large ships. Use Surface Stations filters out planetary ports, and is more of a way to tell Inara what version of Elite Dangerous you are playing. You can filter out Odyssey settlements only, or filter all surface sites. This is useful when commodities trading, but for outfitting, it's best to consider all options, as some surface ports will sell specific modules that aren't available in starports. The two checkboxes at the bottom will set two final filters. For discount chasing, select the Just Discounted slash High Equip Chance box to filter out all stations that are not selling at a discount. Also select the Ignore Fleet Carriers option. Fleet carriers currently aren't allowed to buy or sell outfitted modules below market rates. Once these parameters are set, the list which appears will be stations you can visit to purchase the desired module. Since this tool is dependent on data scraped from individual players, it's always possible that information is out of date. Take note of the updated column and avoid information more than a few days old when possible. If nothing appears, you may need to pull extra modules off your search list and limit searches to one or two items at a time. This step can take some playing around, but is generally the most time-efficient way to deal with a very time-consuming process. Advanced planning is usually the best way to ensure that you take the best advantage of all the time you have available to play. Discount chasing offers two principal advantages. The first being lower buy-in costs. Ships that might be unaffordable to purchase conventionally are made more attainable, with the cost reduction being more dramatic in the late game when individual modules can cost as much as entire large ship hulls. The second advantage discount chasing provides is a permanent reduction in the rebuy value of a given ship. 
Insurance in Elite Dangerous works on a value paid model, not a value ascribed one, like the real world. When a ship is destroyed, insurance deductibles are calculated from the total paid by the pilot for the ship and its parts. This can be especially helpful for new combat pilots, who expect to lose their ships multiple times, as it lowers the consequences for ship loss in perpetuity. Once players acquire elite status, this process gets even easier. The Shinrarta Desra system allows pilots a one-stop shop for all the equipment currently available in the game, with a few limited exceptions. Modules purchased here are offered at a flat 10% discount, which is not quite as good as discount chasing in the greater bubble can provide, but it's a great time saver and strong incentive to chase elite rank. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.